I don't really feel like making a video today. It's been a long, draining week. Uh, wow, some emotionally intense meetings today. My arm hurts. I don't even feel like standing. I got a pen on my shirt. My daughter, my four-year-old, thought it was cute to spray chocolate milk through a straw this morning, so I have that on my shirt too. I didn't really feel like going home. So, I don't really feel like making this video today. I know I made a commitment to do the video today, but I don't really feel like it. Do you ever feel like that? Do you have things in your life where you say that? I don't feel like doing it. This has come up. It's late. I ran out of time. It's so easy to say those things and give in to them and not get things done. The truth of the matter is, you're watching the video. I'm making the video today. The reason I am is because I made a commitment. I made a commitment to myself and I also publicly made a commitment that over the next 30 days, two, mi two videos a day for 60 days. So whether I like it or not, I gotta fulfill that commitment. And that's really what gets us forward in our success and gets us moving forward and ahead in life. I was speaking to somebody today who was talking about how he could grow his business, if only. Right? And I challenged him, I said it's all about commitments. Here's the commitments you've said you've need to make, you've you need to make, if you would make them and you would stick to them, you would get much closer to your goal. So I want to ch give you a little bit of a, ch a challenge, a project, an activity. You can call it what you like. Take out a piece of paper and look back over the past five years. All the things, write down all the things that you knew that if you would do them, you said, this is something I have to do. This is something I have to do. I want to do this. This is going to make my life better. This is going to make my business better, my relationship better, my community better. Whatever it might be, write that down on a list of paper. And right next to them, write two lines. One is give yourself a check whether you actually followed through, whether you did what you thought you felt you needed to do. And if you did, great. If you didn't, write down the reason next to it. Now when you finish that, you're going to have a list. Hopefully you'll have some checks. But unfortunately, the way it is today, we're going to have a lot of blanks and a lot of excuses. And when you look at those excuses, those reasons, those excuses, I want you to think to yourself, was it worth it? Was it a good reason? Does it make you feel good where you are today? Do you feel that those justified not doing what you needed to do? And you're fine with that. It's totally cool. I didn't do that. This was the reason. I had a, I'd pen on my shirt that day, so I didn't do it, right? I didn't push myself. I was tired. It's, it was a busy month. I'm juggling a lot of things. Do you feel, do you feel like this, those are really good at justifications now that you look back over the past five years? So it's so important to stick to your commitments. I've challenged people before on this. If you stick with your commitments, if you make 30-day commitments, and even more deep, if you commit to something for 90 days, for three months, you'll be blown away by the change in your life. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. This is video number 19, and uh, have a great week. Have a great week.